Yes, well, hello, guys, and uh, as promised, if you've managed to get your hands on one of my uh, um, uh, um, manual-controlled blinking eyes uh, ready to be installed into your very own puppet, whether it be a singular, a pair, a smaller one, or this kind of size, this is one of the bigger ones currently, um, uh, and uh, I said I'd show you how we were going to attach the skin and, uh, of course, how to install it to the puppet. So, uh, today, I really want to uh, show you then how we're going to uh, attach the skin with, uh, with what it is that you're going to uh, get should you be uh, lucky enough to get your hands on one of these, okay? So uh, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to look at how we are installing your wheel puppet iMac. So this is the iMac and uh, the first step that we need to look at is creating a space for your blinking eye within your uh, current or existing puppet or the puppet that you are specifically building for this eye. Okay, so uh, let's take a look. Now, I've got a puppet built behind me. Now, this is a puppet that was previously uh, built, and um, he had a blinking eye, and not one that I was happy with. So uh, I decided, let's whip that one out um, to install this new one. So the first section is, like we mentioned just a moment ago, is create the space for your blinking eye. Okay, now I've tried to make this as simple as possible for, uh, for everybody. Okay, so uh, let's come to my other camera for a moment. Let's, let's take a look down here. So uh, down here on the table, you'll see um, we've got the eye. We've got two plastic cutout shapes here. Okay, and a bit of uh, material. This material is the same material that's used on this very puppet here. Okay, so you're going to need your own material. Um, you will get these two cutout shapes. Um, this uh, first, uh, this first shape here, uh, we'll have a little arrow showing you which is the bit that points down the bottom of the uh, the eyelid. Okay, and you're just going to draw around that on your material, and chop that out okay so that's going to be simple enough and you'll end up with something like this and you want two so we'll do that uh, shortly now this piece here this is the cutout that's going to help you get the cutout in the actual puppet itself okay so whether you've got a pre-built puppet like this one and you're altering it, which is a little bit more tricky because you've got to get your hands in there and whatever, um, or if you're designing as you go, then it's going to be easy. You're going to use this little template here to make the size for the eye, okay? So if you just cut out the sponge, the material, if you've applied the skin, and create this shape, okay? Um, that you'll have here hard to see on the camera, but you can see that, okay? And then, also, this piece of uh, metal, this is just easy, bendable uh, metal wire, okay? It's uh, quite a sturdy one, all right? And again, this is then, once you've made the hole for the puppet, you're going to take a notice. It's, uh, it's not joined together, so it can become smaller or bigger, okay? And we're going to pop that into the hole we've made, squeeze it down, bend it round, pop it into the hole we've made, put some, um, put some adhesive in there, um, uh, rubber cement or contact adhesive, as it's known mostly, uh, around here. Put some contact adhesive all over this strip here. Once you've got it to uh, the right size that you want it, and then just go ahead, pop it in, and just pinch it in to the sponge. Just pinching it in to the sponge. I've already done this one. It's already in there, and it can uh, um, um, be stretched a little bit or shrink a little bit, depending what we need. So that is the, the first step, and that's about creating the space for the puppet eye, okay? So, uh, um, so that is step one, creating the space for the puppet eye. So once you've done that, we're going to be ready to move on to the next step. Now, the next step in this case is to attach your skin 
to the eye mechanism, okay? So uh, let's look at that now, shall we? Attaching your skin to the eye mechanism. Okay, so um, let's come back to our camera number two for a moment. Here we are. Um, right, so again, looking back at what we've got here. Now, we've already used uh, this piece, so we can put that piece to one side. It leaves us with this piece here. Uh, you know what that's for now. So go ahead and get your material. And the side that's going to be visible, you want to put face down. And you're going to just place your plastic cutout over the top, just like so. And then you're just going to draw around it. And don't forget this bit. I'm drawing on the part that's not going to show, just in case there's any smudging or any leaking. This is a whiteboard pen, uh, but it really doesn't matter, just so you can cut it out easy enough. Okay, so once you've drawn around it like so, and you're going to do two pieces, then uh, all you're going to do is take your scissors and just chop it out. Now take your time with it, there's no rush, okay? And this isn't exact, it should be a little bit bigger than it needs to be, so you've got room once it's stuck on to be able to, uh, to trim round it, okay? So just chopping it out, nice sharp pair of scissors that don't have any glue on them. If you're a puppet builder, yes, I know. You've got glue all over your scissors, and uh, you don't want to buy any more, I know. So there we go, get rid of the excess there. So now we've got our two eyepieces, okay? Now uh, that's it, we don't need this piece anymore either. Now the eye itself, there's a couple of ways that we could do this, and I was thinking about it. You could now go and put tape over here on the side, that uh, you're going to stick down, okay, so not the fancy side, all right? You could put uh, sticky tape, chop round it, peel it all off, right? Double-sided tape. Um, um, you could, and this is the more secure way, take your contact adhesive and uh, gently put it on the back of your material, let it dry, do the same um, over the eye, you know, here, and... Uh, Certainly back here, maybe a bit in the middle, being careful not to get any on this bit here. And of course, look, you can push the eye closed and you can do it. You can let it dry, use a hair dryer or whatever. But what I've done for now, for this demonstration, I've stuck some double-sided tape at the top here and on the bottom of the lid here, okay? And the same with the other one. So. In this instance, if you're not using glue, you're going to take a little pin, okay, and you're just going to get the pin under the tape a little bit, okay, just so you can see there, all right, that's ready now to pull off, and then the same with the other piece oops it can be a, a little tricky You've just got to find a part where you can get the pin under Also, I don't have the best pin here, I must say. It's a broken one. There we are. Okay, there we go. And it's just so you're ready to peel the back of that off easily enough. Okay? I'll put that pin to one side. <laughs> All right? So I peeled a bit off there. Uh, I've peeled a bit off there, ready to pull that tape off. Now, if you're using a glue or whatever, and it's going to be uh, uh, a little bit different, okay, and you're going to have to be careful how to apply it, I would say you apply the glue here first, and just on that part of the eye, do that bit, tuck it under, then do the other bit if you're using glue, okay? So now, uh, you're going to take your lid and uh, turn it the right way up so you've got the nice skin at the surface. And uh, if you look at your 
template. So where the, the, the kind of arrow is there, you'll know which way round that it needs to go. Okay, so all I'm going to do is I'm just going to start to tuck it through here, look. Okay, pull him through a little bit. Pull him through, pull him through and twist him round a bit. Get him where he needs to be, just getting him as best into position as we can for a minute. Okay, you'll need some tugging, some pulling. All right, something like that. Okay, down to the corners a bit. And uh, when you're pretty happy with it, you do want a slight overlap at the front, which can be trimmed, but it can also be glued onto the bottom of the lid here, you see. So it's nice to have that. So, so it looks something like that. Once you're happy with the positioning of it, go ahead and peel back the, the front of the lid and find that little tuft of sticky tape and pull it off. There we go. Okay, if any comes up, just poke it back down like so. All right. Now, we're carefully going to apply the lid down into this bottom part first. Okay, down there. And we're going to come across, keeping it tight and making sure there's that little bit extra. Okay, you want that little, oh, sorry, you want that little bit extra. So I'm just pulling it up, sticking it on, pulling it up, sticking it on, pulling it up, keeping it taut and sticking it on. Okay, so now that's looking pretty good already. We've got that first bit of the eyelid down. So now we need to do the same on the back here. Okay, so pull it back over, find the bit, you might, you might need some pincers of some kind to get in there. Oops. Okay, and just like the other, you're going to pull it off. You might need to push the eye back a little bit. Pull the tape off the back of the tape like that, and then go ahead and with a little stretch, this material has a slight stretch in it, this specific one I've noticed. And just press it down nicely. And there we have the first lid pretty much on. Okay, there we are. We can give it a, a press by finger and it's working pretty nicely already. So the next step, once you've done that, just give it a real good push down, take the scissors and push around all the sticky parts, make sure it's nice and and stuck down everywhere. And the same if you've used glue, see glue, the, the glue will do a more strong permanent fix, but it would take a little bit more effort. And then the same at the back, just push the eyelid back a little bit and just make sure that it's all stuck down, okay? And then what you can do at the back, any, any excess, you can just go ahead and snip it off like that, okay? And again, just press it all down. There we go, make sure it's nice and stuck. Come back on the front, all right. And again, there's a little overlap just here, okay? Now, if you very carefully, with a tiny little brush, put a little bit of glue on the bottom of the, the white there, very carefully, and then just take your scissors and slowly just curve that over and stick it on 
to the glue that you've applied. Pretty much any glue should do the job. And then there you go. You will have one um, eyelid uh, stuck and ready to go. And then you're just going to do the same again with the other eyelid on the bottom. And, uh, and then you'll have one eyelid with its skins ready and ready to be installed into the, the puppet and that of course is going to be our next video so uh, there we go guys i think that's pretty simple enough to follow along with um that's what we've got so far and it's looking pretty cool right we just got to put the uh, the other lid on now on the bottom and then uh, it'll be on to our third and uh, final section which, of course, uh, will be um, installing it into uh, the actual puppet, right? The final step, installing your eye mechanism. So that's what we're going to take a look at with our next uh, video. And, uh, yeah, looking forward to it. We'll see you soon. Take care, guys. Oh, and do comment. Let me know what you think and uh, uh, what you feel about it so far. We'll see you soon.